Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to remove the crank angle sensor on a Ford Transit. This is normally done if it's a faulty sensor or if you want to set the engine timing and lock the crankshaft. The sensor is located at the rear of the engine and at the top of the gearbox bell housing is where it's bolted into. I've pulled it out as you can see here. It's only held in by one bolt and it's this heat shield that covers the top so what you have to do is slide the heat shield backwards so it's clipped in and you just slide it back and then pop it out. This is the bolt that holds it in and it's normally thread locked in with a medium grade thread locker. A 10mm drill bit goes through that hole when you've got it set in the factory timing position and it should just slot down to lock the crankshaft through the flywheel. So looking at it from the top, so this is what it looks like. That's the part that bolts the crank angle sensor to the housing. If you watch my video below, down in the description, it covers the engine timing and how to set it properly. You can normally get a mirror in there and just double check and make sure you find the notch on the flywheel. So just for reference, remember that's at the back of the engine on the gearbox side. So it's opposite the starter motor, on the, which is normally on the passenger side on the right hand drive vehicle. It's on the opposite side. This applies to most of the four transits from 2000 right up to about 2010. And the transit used here is the variable drive version. The front wheel drives are similar to this. Thanks for watching everyone. Do check out my other videos on the Ford Transit and various other camper and car related content on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe.